ZNS Total Sports, brought to you by Fourth Terrace Diagnostic Center. Good evening, Bahamas. I'm Kelsey Johnson. Welcome to Sports Tuesday. Topping sports tonight, we're closely following a story in which the Bahamas has made headlines in regards to a sports doping investigation documentary done by Al Jazeera. Two Bahamian doctor figures are prominently in the expose as being the sources for banned performance-enhancing drugs. The eight-month-long investigation brought Al Jazeera to the Bahamas, where former 100-meter record holder Tim Montgomery said he was supplied with his first dose by one of the two Bahamian doctors. We'll continue to follow this story and bring you the latest as it develops. From track, we move to sailing. The Bull Red Regard will be the highlight for the beautiful island of Exuma this weekend. As our Julian Gibson tells us, before the sloops hit the water, the sailors will honor a few of their own. Kelsey Harcourt Hockey Roll will be one of the persons that will be honored this year at the Buller Edge Classy Regatta. This was a big surprise for me too, you know, because you know, everywhere I go, I stand the dog. You know, I don't care what race I go in, um, I'll always be the underdog. Uh, um, and people, you know, people who respect the underdogs a lot of time, you know, because you put a lot of things into things, and um, um, this is the result you get out of it. I don't care if you win or lose. And, you know, most of the time I'm in the losing area. So um, um, people just love to see me compete, you know. So, um, um, you know, I, 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 I feel good for the honorary, you know. Did you ever think uh, this day would come? Uh, Julian never, never, never think this day will come, you know. And I, I, um, um, I, I, I tip my hat off to the, the organization that put it together. And I'll do my best to um, um, see if I could um, um, win a race before, <laughs> before you know, uh, it comes to end, you know, before my sailing time comes to end because I'm ready to retire right now, Julian. How do you think the competition is going to be and how you think you're going to do? Well, you know, the competition is always different in Bolivar Regatta. And the competition is always if All the boats them is fast. And um, um, I'm still there with my good friend, Dr. Philip McVie, and I think we got a good chance too again. You know, I think he's going to be there. Once he's in the top three, I say, Rev, once we be in the top three, we could pull it off. And that's my, that's my goal for, the, for, this, for this regatta. This regatta is a special regatta because it sets the tune for the new year. That's the truth, too, you know. So every, any, every, all the boats that come in this regatta want it to go, do good. And we got some good boats. We got some good boats. And I think um, um, the boat that win this regatta will always be the boat going into the National Farm Regatta as a threat or, you know, as, a, as one of the top boat uh, to win it. Reporting for ZNS Total Sports, I am Julian Gibson. Thanks so much, Julian. Collegiate basketball player Deshaun Taylor has his eyes set on playing in the NBA after graduating from college. The starting guard for Norfolk Stake has posted some big numbers for the squad, who is on a winning streak. Another one of my strengths that I think I'm known for is finishing above the rim, being able to dunk over defenders, and just create highlight plays that gets the crowd going. Of course, you know, there's aspirations for the NBA. And we played in the Peach Jam, and I played pretty well in front of some scouts. Um, you know, the Spurs was interested in me. They asked some questions about me. So if our team makes it to the NCAA tournament come March Madness, um, they definitely be looking out. So, you know, I just want to keep playing consistent. I want to improve. Uh, in my rebounding area to try to get that up to about eight, eight rebounds per game. I'm not too worried about scoring because I feel like I can score the ball efficiently, so that's going to come naturally. From athletics to wrestling, athletes have represented the Bahamas on all levels in various sporting disciplines. And as the old saying goes, you're only as strong as your weakest link. Our sports team here at ZNS took a close look at the teams and how well they performed this year. Here's our top 10 picks. Coming in at number 10, we start with the gymnastics squad which tumbled its way onto international rankings. The team, led by Simone Hall and Kiana Dean, participated in the Pan Am Games as well as the World Gymnastics Championships this year. Coming in at number 9 is the Bahamas Chess Squad, where they made moves and conquered the board at the CAC Youth Festival in Trinidad and Tobago. Playing at that tournament was Deja Johnson, Philip Hanna Jr. and Malik Sands. 
At number eight are two teams that knocked the ball out the park. The Commando Security Truckers returned to the NPSA and the BSF, winning both titles. This was also the case for the Lady Stingers, who played in the NPSA and the BSF National Round Robin for the first time. Not often do we look at sailing as a team sport, but the crew on the Witty K was simply outstanding this year. The Sloop was a champion in the C-Class in most of the regattas. At number six is the Carifta track and field team. After a disappointing 2014 run, the B3As put in place some stringent qualification times to improve the level and cut down on the number of people who can qualify. That gamble paid off as the team placed second behind Jamaica winning 31 medals. Netting their way into the top five is the men's national basketball squad. The team placed second at the CBC Championships, falling to the U.S. Virgin Islands, the same team they defeated at the 2014 hosting. The Pan Am Games team was one of many that traveled this summer. The squad consisted of athletes that competed in boxing, swimming, athletics, tennis, and for the first time, gymnastics. History was made at the Games when Ariana Vanderpool Wallace won gold and bronze medals. The Bahamas finished 16th overall. And speaking about history, the women's basketball squad inked their names into the books and captured the third spot on our list as a result. The team won the gold medal at this year's CBC Championships. The squad was coached by Yolette McPhee McQuinn. Flexing their way to the second spot is the CAC Bodybuilding Championship squad. This year's hosting marked the eighth time that the Bahamas hosted the CAC Bodybuilding Championships. And what a show it really was. The Bahamas walked away with the overall title after accumulating a total of seven gold, five silver and four bronze medals. The team had a total of 194 points to dethrone the former champions, the Dominican Republic. Winning the ZNS Sports Team of the Year is the Carifta Swim Squad. The team went into Barbados, where the championships was held as targets, having won the 2014 hosting. That didn't stop them as they not only secured their second consecutive title, but also won a number of individual awards and high points. The Bahamas amassed 756 points and captured 54 medals in total. They'll be looking for a three-peat when the meet is held next year in Martinique. Jared Higgs, ZNS Total Sports. Thank you so much, Jared. We wish to congratulate all athletes who represented the country this year on the various teams. You are all winners in our books. Well, that's all the time we have for sports. I'm Kelsey Johnson.